How powerful she is with her legs. Yeah, it's so absolutely. Just close the yeah. legs. Yeah. So, no. A good one, yeah? Absolutely a very good one. She convinced here everybody. In wide for Brazil, the South American champion, Erika Kabataki. Right, coming up next, the Eddie final of Mongolia, the under 60 kilo category Mongolia. final. Eric Takabatake of Brazil faces Ganbat Bolbata of Mongolia, and you'd have to be a good man, I don't care who you are, you'd have to be a good man to come into Mongolia and defeat Ganbat Bolbata in the final. You'd have to be pretty good. Now, if we pick Zeltner as a potential min medal winner who wasn't in that top group, so too we picked Takabataki, who was not in that top group. He wasn't in the one, two, three, four. He wasn't in the top four. He was in the top eight, yeah. but he wasn't in the top four. And here he is in the final. And he's come out, come out well, Madranov is in there. Shamatan. Those are probably the best of the group. Takabataka came out on top. Here he is in the final. Climbing up, climbing up the world world rankings pretty quickly. Takabataka. I think he's going to give the number one Brazilian in the under 60 kilo category a good run for his money here. <laughs> Anyway, there are a couple, there are a couple of Brazilians who are now making a push for the number yeah. one spot. <laughs> Felipe Kitadai. A bronze medalist from the London Olympics is one of them. I think Charlie Chabana may be another. I don't know if you want to look, look those up. See how many Brazilians are in the top, say, top 30. In that category. In the under 60 kilo category. I think there'll be a couple. Taka, Taka Bataki can't be that far off. Kitadai is up there at number seven. Bataki is down at 24th, but Charlie Chibana must be Thank in you. the 66 kilo category. Have a look down there, must have misidentified him. Yeah, because he's going to be up there. Have a look at 66 if you don't, don't mind. Let's just see where yeah, Charlie Chibana is. Yeah. He may have picked out his sister. <laughs> Oh, yes. Gabriella's. Oh. Page six. <laughs> yeah, 66. You're okay. <laughs> Gambat has picked up the single penalty at the moment. Three minutes to go. Takabataki showing that he's got some acrobatic skills as well. And now the Brazilian picks up a penalty. Number one, yeah. <laughs> world, world number one. Chibana. Well, after this, whatever happens, win or lose, Takabataki is not going to be that far off. Um, Felipe Kitadai. Yeah. It, well, it's good for the Brazilians. They're going to want as much choice as possible. And they're certainly going to have it with Takabatake and Kitadai. Look at that. Really low left sided effort. It's a bit. Slowly. Yeah. <laughs> T took a little while to develop then. And mm. again, it was one of those safety first kind of things. I'm going to lie down on the ground and see if I can drag him across me rather than try and stand up and throw him and risk getting caught. Nothing wrong with that. 
We often refer to those types of attempts as Sutemi Waza, throw yourself first and then yeah. throw your opponent, why not? Takabatake picks up a second penalty. Crowd like it. Well, I don't think I've ever clapped a, <laughs> a Shido before. Referee is Kochi Makikomi attend. Looks comfortable though, the Brazilian. He looks unfazed that they're going to face top draw Mongolian in the final of a Grand, Grand Prix in his opponent's backyard. Surprised if Ganbat could catch. Yeah, a Brazilian. A, a Brazilian in there, was <laughs> it? Yeah. You just have that uninformed expectation that it's guesswork, really, because we don't know whether he does anything else or not. You just expect Brazilians to be good on the ground. Whoa. That was pretty close. And yes, now just lost the group. Here comes Ganbat again. Gambat fancies himself on the ground. I don't know about <laughs> <laughs> whether he fears anybody, just going for it. No scores yet, but Takabatake has picked up two penalties. 30 odd seconds left to go. Get the feeling that this is going to be it. There's not going to mm. be. A really big score here. And just the penalties, unfortunately, are going to be said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> the, the moment you said it. <laughs> Obviously, I had the wrong feeling. <laughs> I did genuinely have a feeling there was going to be no score there. <laughs> and then <laughs> up comes Gambat with a huge one. Should have said it, said it uh, a little bit earlier, Sheldon. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. Yeah. <laughs> Ganbat of Mongolia shows him the Ippon Sanagi and then hooks in and puts Takabatake on his back for Ippon. So we've had the final of the under 48 kilo category. Gold medal to Munkbat Uransetek. We've had the final of the under 60 kilo category Austin gold medal. Will yes. Gangbat Bolbata. Two for two. 